Okay, BSI, my scene is safe. I've got one male patient who is unconscious. We come over, I don't suspect trauma, so I'm going to do a head tilt chin lift to open the airway. I see that the airway is open and is free of obstructions. I'm going to look, listen, and feel for five to ten, for five to ten seconds to check for any uh, signs of breathing. There are no signs of breathing, so at this time I'm going to insert an OPA. The patient does accept the adjunct, so I'm going to begin bagging the patient uh, with high flow 200% oxygen. I'm going to make sure that I have equal chest rise and compliance as I am bagging. I have now checked the ABCs. Uh, my patient is unconscious. I've checked his LOC. I'm going to pass this off to my partner. I've decided that I, uh, as airway man, I want to intubate this patient. My patient will begin pre-oxygenating the patient to the high end of normal, which will be 12 to 20, so about 20 breaths a minute. As he is pre-oxygenating, I'm going to set up my equipment and check it. I'm using a number three Macintosh. My light is tight, white, and bright. I'm going to determine tube size of this patient based off of one of his nares or his pinky size. Based on this patient, I would say that he can take a size 7 tube. I've got my stuff set up for intubation. I have determined that there is a need. Now prepared to intubate. I'm going to have my patient stop, or excuse me, my partner stop. Remove the OPA. Extend the patient's neck, sweeping from, going in from the right, sweeping to the left. The Macintosh blades goes into the molecular, raising the epiglottis to visualize the trachea and the vocal cords. Take my tube, visualize it going through the vocal cords into the trachea, watching the black line pass. I am 21 at the teeth, inflate my cuff, and remove my stylet. I'm going to have my partner begin to oxygenate. I'm looking for compliance and equal chest rise. At this point I'm going to listen and also take breath sounds beginning with epigastric to make sure that stomach sounds are absent. I'm going to listen to the lower left lung. I expect to hear lung sounds and I do not. Listen to the lower right and I do hear lung sounds. Upper left and I do not hear lung sounds. Upper right and there are lung sounds present so I'm uh, assuming that I have right main stemmed. Going to have my partner continue to oxygenate. I'm going to reattach my syringe, deflate my cuff, I'm going to pull back on the tube, take the tube to 20 at the teeth, reinflate my cuff, uh, remove the syringe, and once again I'm going to reassess breath sounds, uh, listen to epigastric, I'm, listening, uh, I'm hoping for no sounds, I'm going to listen to the lower left lung and I do hear lung sounds. Lower right is present, upper left is present, upper right is present. So that means that I have confirmed through two ways, visualization of the vocal cords and breath sounds. I am also looking for misting in the tube, which confirms my tube placement. I can also have my uh, cap CO2 capnographer placed on to check. Yellow is yes. Yellow means that I do have CO2. Purple is a problem. I do have yellow, so I have correct placement. I'm going to have my partner continue to bag, holding the tube and not releasing it. And I'm going to secure using my Thomas tube holder. If I notice any secretions or vomitus or anything else in the airway, I can use my suction. I would use a Yonkers for an adult or a soft or French tip for a pediatric. I'm going to insert the suction and I will suction on the way out for no more than 15 seconds. And then take my Thomas tube holder to secure my tube. Again, not letting go of the tube. We are still 20 at the teeth. screwed my tube tightly down, the strap underneath the neck, I've now secured my tube so I can let it go, at this point I'm going to reassess breath sounds again, starting at the epigastric looking for absent sounds, lower left present, lower right present, upper left present, 
upper right present, which means I continue to have proper placement, and I'm going to continue to bag my patient according to the needs.